Good day everybody, here's a tutorial on how to create a clean cut on a bottle and I'll show you a really simple way to do this today. So here's a sample model here. So let's get started. Okay, let's make a new part, turn on the planes and we'll start with creating a revolve. Click on a plane and we're going to draw the shape. I like to have everything start from the origin, so it's a good idea to do that. And just roughly define the shape. And make sure it's a closed shape as well, so... Okay, so I'll make this about 35. And make from here to here, I'll make that about 15. And the height. About 160 should be enough. 160, and yeah, it looks fine. Let's just go ahead and get started. Uh, actually, let's go back to the sketch and make sure you draw in a center line. That's good. All right, accept that, and you should have a revolve model. That looks fine. Let's go ahead, and we just qu quickly add a round on the edges here. Let's add a large round. Here, oh no, not that. Right click, round edges. That's what you should do. And a nice round there. And accept that and select the other two edges, that edge and the bottom edge and add a round there. Yeah, something like that, it looks fine. All right, okay, now we'll, we'll start doing the cut feature. So switch to front plane. And we simply just need to create an extrude. But um, I'll do a simple way by creating a plane first. Click on the plane, click on the front plane to create an offset plane. And create an offset plane roughly around 27, somewhere about there. And click OK. And from there, we'll create an extrude. I selected the plane and click extrude so so we, we're sketching on the new plane we created and now just get started draw in a rectangle so you can use the center rectangle tool here so that will allow us to draw a square and make sure the just make the height about 10 mil and the width about 46 and that's fine click ok and we'll make sure we do a cut extruding out so that's that's basically a cut there except that and what we're going to do next is define some dating dating points so click right here and what you do is click on the middle plane the middle plane crossing the middle there click on Click on that plane and hold control and select the edge. So that will give you a point intersecting the, the middle plane. We'll put another one here. We'll put another one. I'll do it better over here so you can see. Select that again and hold control and select the, this edge. So I'll create a point for you on the right on the, the far point of that edge. And we'll create another point as well. Click on that plane again. And after that, we'll drag this, this sort of like a, we call it like a measure, measurement element. And make sure you can turn on the axis here, or you can just go there, click on axis. With the axis there, we can use the axis to measure. So we can use that leader, that green point, drag it to the axis, so that will allow us to uh, give um, a offset dimension so I'll make that now I'll go to the left plane and I want to put this point around here so it's 5 from the bottom and 32 from the middle axis 32 not 63 yep that's good all right click OK and turn on display points if you if you haven't done that 
it's everything is green it's selected i'll deselect and what you're gonna do we're gonna use the curve datum datum curves these this datum curve is just really awesome tool and it allows us to create a curve here hold control and select the three points it, so you can create a data point now what's cool about this curve is we control the t tangency so right click on the point and what you're going to do you're going to select the surface as well so do that again on this side right click switch on curvature continuous and select the surface as well there you go so we have a a curve on the edge there now we can go ahead and create that blend use the boundary blend and hold control and select um, the edge going that direction and the edge going that direction sometimes you do this it only selects half you gotta hold shift to select both curve but hold control to select the the different rails so next we'll switch on the secondary direction or this button here and select this edge hold control select this edge and select the far edge on the left and now we have a blend uh, a nice clean blend so it's a it's an interesting blend for us so now we just group that together and pan that as well to make it look like a nice bottle so select hold sh control select all of that we'll group that together and click on pan and we'll do a direction pan and we're gonna use the top reference and I'll do a four four repeat pan and I'll create a spacing of 15 and accept and it's panned across for us and next I'll do a mirror as well so I select all the pan there click mirror and mirror across the front plane accept and we have a feature on both sides so I'll turn off all this item so we can see that better and now I'll, I'll apply a rendering color so I'll show you a neat trick with applying colors as well so I'll just select green and I'll select the whole part click OK and one neat tri trick about with creating color is if you turn on the ambient it looks nice so I'll just switch it to a slight tint of yellow so it looks like a lime color and to make your model look flashy just on turn on a bit of ambient and looks nice and doesn't create that dark shade so so there you go you have our bottle you can just control select these datum curves and hide them if you don't want to but there you go you have that's that's the neat trick on creating blends on the bottle so Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you have any questions. See you later.